when you cut the carbon fiber, the strands like to go everywhere, so scissors won't really work. Now I gotta be really careful not to spread apart the weave of this carbon fiber. I'm just gonna size it up to the board and give myself a couple inches around the edges. Now I'm gonna get this plank of wood right here and use that plank of wood as a cutting surface. Ha, oh, rotary cutters. Then I'm gonna get my tape right here. I'm gonna tape that edge, hold everything together. So what you do is you put the carbon fiber on top of the board, right? Then I'm gonna end up putting the epoxy here. Then I like to put this release film on before I put it into the vacuum bag. That's when I squeegee everything and make sure the resins put through everything. You have to have a breather fabric in a vacuum bag since it's just a bag. If you don't have a breather fabric, when you suction it down, the suction won't be able to go through and it will just suck onto the plastic bag. First, I like to put on a little bit of a base coat just onto the board. Here, I'm not looking for a ton of stiffness, so I'm gonna put two layers of carbon fiber in the bottom and one on the top. My top veneer. Doo -doo 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 -doo. A little resin to the top of the carbon fiber. You can use a lot less than you think you need to. And you can always come back and add some later, but you can't do it in the reverse. Here's our mold release agent. I'm gonna put this puppy on top. And this is where we take all the bubbles out of the epoxy. Oh, look at that. Looking good. The squeegee stage is good because you can flatten out the fibers and fill all the voids. You tape these edges so the bags don't come apart when I throw it in there. Slide this stuff in there. Make sure your nozzle is not on top of the board, but it is on top of the fabric so the air can travel. While this carbon fiber is so soft, where you can cut it with some shears so you don't have to dremel it and get all those fibers all over your skin that sting and burn. Pro tip.